Paris Johnson's name carries a lot of weight in Ohio. He's the state's number one recruit. But the Ohio State commit doesn't have to do all the heavy lifting by himself. The hype around the Princeton Vikings is building. The team has eight other players with Division I offers passing through their doors. All eyes are all in for 2019. Brother Heem, how you doing? Good, Good to see you. Thank you know, you, fresh off your commitment. You know what I mean? <laughs> go, go Bearcats. You know what I mean, Brother Heem? Make sure I ain't got no junk foods, you know? So no junk foods? No, we conditioning. So no junk foods, no cookies, no chips, none of that. Some cookies? I got some fruit snacks, I told you. <laughs> All right. The princess do right here. Come hold the door for me, please. I got you. Good luck. Thank you, little man. Come here, big guy. Oh, Mr. Henry. Oh, Good. Oh, you got your uh, snack? Last but not least to show to camp, Darion Henry, who's only just arriving after getting a surgically repaired shoulder examined. Isn't it Allen over? The state's second-ranked recruit is trying to find a spot for the next three days. He's already found his spot after high school. He's headed to Ohio State with Johnson. Henry's cousin is also his coach, and his coach is in search of a kicker. It's like, well, I think. It's first time, and, and we're trying to he's trying to decide if he wants to do it. So, um, I ain't got time. We got time. I'm excited, you know, just that much closer to football. Played against the GNC before at St. X. I've always dominated in our play teams in, in the conference. So I feel like this season should be pretty fun. <laughs> this Camp Viking experience. It seems like it's a lot of fun. What you've you've been participated in for a couple of years now. I guess Mike started three years ago. What should we expect out of, out of this? I've already seen dudes getting dunked on in the gym. So what what's what's Camp Viking like? A lot of fun, a lot of hard work, and just enjoying enjoying a bond with your teammates for real. Football, let's go. A lot of hard work. None but moving, <laughs> sweating, being in the heat, getting used to it. But also at the same time, when it's all set down after practice, we all get to settle down as one. If you all play as one, all get the message, we win the game, we win ball games. How do you guys feel heading into the season? I feel very confident in us heading into the season. Having the cameras around, is it going to change things at all? You guys going to be able to focus? Yeah, we should be able to focus. If anything, it's going to make us focus more because somebody watching. So. <laughs> UC bound Jaheim Thomas is comfy in his surroundings. Maybe a little too comfy. Yep, Powerpuff Girls, who I thought. <laughs> yep, get it on camera, Powerpuff Girls. Jaheim, who's the little sister you still left from, dude? For them being away from home with their brothers and teammates, that's the most important thing. That's the thing that uh, makes this thing special, learning about teammates and just being able to just shut their worlds off and be focused on us. Me, personally, I'm more serious about stuff, so I will not be involved in pranks. You know what allow that to happen to me. Kids, as they continue to develop, uh, they need a reminder of uh, the little things. And while rest is so important. You hurt? I hurt. Oh, uh, guys, coach made us come out here at like 1.30. Typically, it's the underclassmen, the, the freshmen and sophomores that tend to do a little extra workouts throughout the night. The younger guys with a focus. Yeah. They were trying to go to sleep, so yeah. This was the first year that the underclassmen slept and the older boys uh, needed a little extra discipline. And that's one of our core values here at Princeton uh, for football uh, is discipline. I was asleep too. <laughs> and all of a sudden you heard a whistle blow and it was like, everybody get up, everybody get up. I was like, God, Lee, what happened? It's a 3 a.m. out here running. Okay. People didn't want to go to sleep. No, I was asleep. Coach held us accountable uh, and we won't do that again. Trust that he's going to make the decision that he ain't going to leave you out to dry. Right now, I feel like we have all the athleticism in the world, and I feel like if you don't have those little things right now, like going to sleep when the coach tells you to go to sleep and turn off your device, what are you going to do when you're playing a big game and you're expected to fulfill your job on a big play? You can't take care of going to sleep at the right time. How are you going to get trusted on the field? So I think right now a lot of people are learning that. All right, here we go. Front scoop to the 10, back scoop to the 20. Here we go. 
Get down in it, the most important part of the day right here. Operation don't pull anything. Last night was a great opportunity for our guys to learn a valuable lesson. And today was one of our best practices. And they responded off, off almost zero sleep. But as a whole, they're, they're running on almost knee and came out and responded. Boom, pick it up. Bam, that's it. Quarterback room is looking strong. You know, it, it, it's one of those things where we got two seniors returning that give us a lot of strength and depth. And depth at that position is something that we haven't had in my time here. So it is luxury. And I walk in that room every day, proud and excited. We're repping both the seniors, equal reps. As we get into the scrimmages, they'll separate each other naturally. This is a break in action um, from our mini camp, and so we grind them out pretty good, and so we get to end their day with a, a dip in the pool. This is some fun action for them to, to relax. And he jumps, and he does a backflip. It's been years since Princeton made a big splash. They haven't been to the playoffs since 2007. It's much needed R&R &R for the Vikings before they can prove the hype is justified. As Johnson gets dunked on for the second time in two days, it's clear the state's top recruit is not a basketball player. We got coaches here, we have alumni cooking food, and we have a community people here, it's just a great time. Teamwork is the most important thing, learn how to trust each other, learn how to uh, get along off the field as well as on the field. So the main thing is learn how to get along with each other, pick each other up, make sure that everybody's you know, protecting each other and, and learn how to become one. That's, that's the main thing we were taught and that's the main thing that gets you a championship. On night two, the hunt for footwork and proper hand placement continues at the talent show. Franklin Mills, a freshman offensive lineman, is the most memorable moment in a night full of them. But not if Coach Daniels has anything to say about it. We're going 15 on in the state. We're going to state, baby, yeah. It's, it's really a great thing. I would recommend for every high school program to do some version of it because it is special. Now, it takes a lot of work. It's, you know, it dips into coaches summer getting ready, but it's worth as you, as as we pour into kids, it's worth it. We're a fun team when when it's time to have fun, but when it's time to get serious, we very serious. BBJ came from over there. Pole. Somebody threw an apple in the middle of the. <laughs> it was mainly this guy right here. The <laughs> Sterling, Sterling rolled oh, the apple the across the floor. <laughs> there was a couple of the joints. Was it worth it? No, 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 no,